We're here at Arturo Spritz and Alfredo's, and I'm here with Arturo, or Art, more commonly known as Art. Right. And you guys just moved to Holland, yeah, right? Back in January. Yes, where were you were in Toledo before? Yeah, okay. New location, but same good menu. Everything is the same. The menu is the same, the servers are the same, the cooks are the same, same phone number. When I hear Mexican German, I think, how, how do those two mix together? Tell me the history of that. Well, my sister married a German fella. His name was Alfred. And Simple they, as that. Know, and so they combined the two of them together. Today we are going to be making a German dish and a Mexican dish. Right. All right, well, should we head to the kitchen and meet Chef Lori? Right away. All let's right, go. let's go. So first we want to thank Terry for nominating Fritz and Alfredo's. And I'm here with Chef Lori, who's going to be showing me how to make those two awesome dishes. So what are we going to be making first? Make a Jaeger schnitzel. Jaeger schnitzel. What's first? They're pan fried, so they're golden brown. Do you ever get burnt? Just splatter. Just a little splatter. So what's it like going from like one to another? After 22 years, I'm still going at it. You're still going at it. This looks delicious already. Oh, and now some red cabbage. And she's not bashful on that gravy either. You're getting a lot of gravy. Okay, so we're leaving Europe and we're on to Mexico, right? All right. Already we've got a homemade tamale, a taco, and a tostada, and homemade guacamole. And here comes the enchilada. Is for one person? What? <laughs> I think I'm gonna be having some leftovers. This is one dinner for one person. I could, this could feed a family of four. So I've got a dinner for one, an outrageous dinner for one, actually maybe two because we made two dishes. We've got the Jaeger pork, and the numero ocho, and also this queso dip right. that is an appetizer. So we'll start with Germany. That is terrific. That noodle. All right. So is it time to travel back to Mexico? And these are these are homemade, right here in the house. Mm -hmm. They're not bought or anything. Oh my God. That's the best tamale I've ever had. Really? Mm-hmm. The one problem with tamales sometimes is that they're too dry. Right. It's so good. It's so juicy. The, that, that's what it is. The pork is so juicy. Thank you so much, Art. This was fantastic. You guys got to come down and try this. If you want Mexican, you want German, you can have it all here at Arturo's, Fritz, and Alfredo's, right? Right. And make sure to visit my Facebook and nominate your favorite dishes for Life Tastes Better here.